Hi everybody, my name is Anna Novak and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have something very exciting to share with you guys. I got my March Prosies box in the mail yesterday and I'm excited to open it up. I haven't opened it at all yet. Um, I just thought I would do an unboxing video to share what I got, what I ordered. Let's go ahead and open it up here and jump right in. So exciting. First up, we have the collagen peanut butter. I have ordered this in the past from Prozies, and needless to say, I fell in love with it immediately after I started using it. Collagen is super good for your hair, skin, nails, anti-aging, um, preventing the formation of wrinkles, and it's just all around so good for you. Super excited to open this up once I finish the jar I'm on, but I am almost done with that jar, and I just ordered that one like three weeks ago, so glad that I got more of it already. One tablespoon of this has about 90 calories, one gram of sugar, and five grams of protein. So pretty good as far as protein and sugars go. Um, I also noticed after I started using this, first of all, I use it like every single day because I love peanut butter. It's a very like natural tasting peanut butter as well. I noticed my nails grew out a lot after I started eating this all the time and came in a lot thicker than normal and none of my nails broke but I did trim them the other day because they were starting to look a little too long so I think this time though I'm just gonna grow my nails out and if they don't break again I'm just gonna paint them and make them look nice be like an at-home acrylic next up I have these zero chocolate candies which are basically the proceeds version of peanut M&Ms I will say these do have artificial sweeteners in them while I don't agree with taking in too many artificial sweeteners Having them in moderation here and there is not going to do you too much harm. It's all about having balance and everything in moderation. One pack of these has 170 calories, two grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. I'm gonna go ahead and give these a little taste test as well because I've never had these before. So I'm gonna try one right now. I'm gonna try this lavender one. I'm actually really impressed with those. I thought these were going to taste not that great since they don't really have any sugars in them, but it must be the artificial sweetener, honestly, that's making them taste pretty good. But these are actually really good. They taste just like M&M. Oh my god, these are so good. I'm going to try to stop myself from eating this whole thing just because they do have so many artificial sweeteners in them, and I don't want to have too many in a day. I would say if you're going to have these, just have them in moderation and balance. Don't eat too much of it because, you know, of course, it's not like having actual like nutritious value in your diet it's more of a if you want to have like a craving for m&ms you could sub it out for those as instead and have a lesser sugar version but just don't eat them every day because everything in moderation and balance especially when it comes to artificial sweeteners that's going to be the key next up i have the vegan chocolate protein powder from prosies last time i ordered these i got this in chocolate and in cookies and cream as well and while I wasn't a huge fan of the cookies and cream, I was obsessed with the chocolate. I made like a chunky monkey smoothie with this where I had this chocolate protein powder, um, peanut butter and banana, as well as almond milk and ice. This just came out so good. I knew I needed to order it again because that was honestly the best protein smoothie I've ever made at home. Like I've had protein smoothies from other places before, but making them at home is always gonna be cheaper and that turned out to be the best protein smoothie I've ever made hands down it was just so good the protein was so smooth it was not grainy at all and you couldn't even really tell it was a protein smoothie like a protein shake it just tasted so perfect and surprisingly it doesn't have artificial sweeteners in it either one packet of this has about 120 calories less than one gram of sugar and 21 grams of protein so definitely a good choice for a protein powder especially after like workout to get that protein in and it's also vegan and vegetarian so can't beat it. It's also free from GMOs, aspartame, artificial colors, preservatives, palm oil. Also has iron and BCAAs in it if you are interested in getting those in your diet, which I did not know. Apparently, one packet of this has 24% of your daily value of iron, which as a girl who used to be iron deficient because I was vegetarian for eight years and I'm not anymore, but I still try to limit my 
intake of meat and so if you're iron deficient this will also help you out there next up i got the forest fruits flavor of the prosies protein granola i was looking at the flavors they also had a chocolate hazelnut but i'm not really a huge fan of hazelnut and i already got a lot of chocolate stuff from prosies this order so i decided to get something a little different it's vegan high fiber low sugar and a good source of protein one serving has about 140 calories only one gram of sugar five grams of fiber and seven grams of protein which is pretty good for granola usually granola has a lot of added sugars to it i will say this also only has one gram of artificial sweeteners so if you're trying to limit those artificial sweeteners this is a good option for that this is also a resealable bag which is awesome for on the go i know for me granola is usually something i like to eat on the go as a quick snack so you can go ahead and open this up here and give it a taste Mm. oh my gosh you guys this stuff tastes so good i'm so impressed and for low sugar high protein and also high fiber this is so good this is gonna really help me on the go because i can just seal the bag right back up and throw it in my book bag take it with me to work to school i'm just super excited for this one Next up, I got the spinach wraps from Rosie's as well. These are good for making lunches, wraps. If you want to have something quick to make, you just throw some veggies in here, some deli meat. I'm a huge fan of tofurkey, so I could definitely see myself putting some tofurkey and veggies in these. One of these has 193 calories, 5 grams of protein, and only 1 gram of sugar. I can definitely see myself meal prepping with these for the week or just making some simple wraps to eat throughout the week or to take with me to work, school. I'm really trying to like make sure when I go to work, I'm there for like about seven hours during the week. And I like to make sure I have healthy options so that I'm not going up to the front because I'm hungry, getting something out of the vending machine like chips or cookies that isn't so healthy. So making sure I take things that are actually going to fuel me, fill me up, make me feel healthy, happy, and satiated as well. That protein granola left such a good taste in my mouth. Like I'm probably gonna be eating more of that after this video. Next up, I got this protein wafer. It's the chocolate flavored one. It actually has two protein wafers in here. So it's like a little two pack. Super excited for this. One packet has about 200 calories, five grams of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. Very healthy option for on the go, getting that protein in. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste test as well. Mmm. Oh my god you guys this tastes so good oh my gosh i'm gonna have to order more of these next time this reminds me of like those like sugar wafers i'm obsessed with sugar wafers and they have sugar-free ones too but not with like high protein so this is like less sugar and high protein and it also has like this like chocolate coating on the outside too which is just so good and the last food item i got was this pesto sauce which i'm obsessed with pasta Alfredo is always going to be my favorite sauce, but pesto is a very close second to that. I'm excited to make this because it's already ready. Let's see. Open the package and add the sauce to freshly cooked pasta or nochi. This product should not replace a varied and balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. Store in the original packaging in a cool, dry place, avoiding direct sunlight. Once open, refrigerate and consume within two days. Okay, so it looks like the sauce is already ready, so you just open it up, put it in there. Make sure you keep it refrigerated and i like that also a lot of prosies products include that it does not replace a healthy and balanced lifestyle because that is 100 percent true for any of these products at the end of the day what you want to be doing is eating a healthy balanced diet with fruits and veggies and whole foods getting protein sources that are you know actual sources and not just eating a bunch of whey protein stuff or even if they're vegan getting in those like protein powders while those are good supplements to a diet they do not replace a healthy diet so always make sure that you are getting that healthy, balanced, varied diet and that you have everything in moderation as well. With that being said though, this is gonna be so good to make. I could put this on pasta and then, you know, throw some grilled chicken in there and then you have a healthy, balanced meal right there. Even And then if you add some veggies on the side, if you make like some steamed broccoli or carrots or if you have like a side salad, those are all good options to get some veggies in. So there's a good dinner idea right there. Okay, so that's all the food items I got from Prozzi, so now we're going to move on to clothes. First up, I got the Alpine Sports Bra in the shade Grey Melange. 
I also got this sports bra in the navy blue shade and I'm just obsessed with it. This sports bra shapes your physique so well, highlights you in all the best ways, contours the body around the hips, waist, and um, chest area so well. So I honestly might wear this sports bra tonight. I feel like these sports bras are really good for push days just because the front is very high up but the back is still like a little bit open so if you wanted you could wear it for a back and bags day but personal preference i usually wear these types of bras on a push day and also for leg days because they do offer a good amount of support although i am only a b cup so if you have a bigger chest you may need something with a little bit more support than this because this one is a lighter support bra but for my body it does work very well and i do love just how this bra contours the body and how it just highlights everything so perfectly. That's what the back looks like as well. Overall, this one's super comfortable. Since I'm hitting legs, I'm gonna go for either this bra or that white one. Definitely, definitely obsessed. Next up, I got the Marathon NRG sports bra in black. I feel like it's a very good supportive bra. I think this would honestly be best for like a leg day. Um, I'm gonna try it on as well to see what I think, but from what I could tell so far, it looks like it'd be really good for legs in that it would keep everything supportive and not make things move around too much so that when you're doing squats, deadlifts, your more heavy movements, you have that support that you were looking for. Honestly, this one's not really 100% my favorite. Just because the compression does feel like a lot for me, I personally don't really like things pressing on my chest too much. It just makes me feel really constricted. But if you like a high support sports bra, this is definitely the bra for you. I'll probably be honestly not wearing this one to the gym as much though, just because it is very compressing for me and it's just not my taste. Because it is very cooling, it's just very compressing. If you like high, compression sports bras definitely recommend this that or i would also maybe recommend sizing up in this sports bra the other ones fit very well in a size small but this one's very compressing so i would recommend sticking to your true size or even sizing up and then last but not least i got the movement sports bra in white i've seen some people crisscrossing this one in the back but the crisscross is actually meant to be in the front before your neckline. I feel like the sports bra honestly is just so good. I feel like I could see myself wearing this as well on a push day because of the higher neckline, but also for legs because I feel like it would keep everything intact. Also for reference, all these sports bras, I am around a 34, 36 B cup and I ordered a size small. So if you're thinking about ordering from Prozies and you're around the same size as me, you can get size small. Overall, I would recommend sizing down though from what you normally wear because I do normally wear a medium. So if you're a medium, typically get a small. If you're large, typically get a medium. So you can see I crisscrossed it in the front. I feel like everything's like really supported, really in place. And that's something that's really important for me for leg days. And also I do like this crisscross in the front, but I definitely want to try and see what it looks like in the back. And then here's the same bra if you wear it crisscrossed in the back. Well, I like it in the front because it is different than any other bra I've had and any other of my bras and how I've worn them before. I do prefer it in the back just because it still does give that support for push and leg days, but it also does make the back look more open, I feel like, for back and bodies. So all the items I got, I'm super excited for future use. I'm super excited. I think I'm gonna go with this one for today's leg day. I'm going with my boyfriend tonight after my classes around four to six probably is when we'll be working out together. Leg day is slowly becoming my favorite. If you found this video to be helpful or valuable, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.